Hey everybody, Adrian here with BlendRecommender.com and I am smoking an excellent uh, tobacco. It is uh, new slash old and one that's been talked about a lot recently. It is Standard Tobacco Company of Pennsylvania's reintroduction or reformulation, if you will, Bengal Slices. So these were uh, around back, I believe, in the 70s. Uh, they were originally produced uh, by Sobrani and uh, and they changed hands a few times through the 80s and then ultimately fell out of production and haven't been heard from in quite some time. Standard Tobacco Company of Pennsylvania is a project that started up, this company started up, uh, I believe, maybe a year and a half, two years ago. And they were able to acquire the rights, uh, the, the name, and then also uh, the recipes for five blends that were no longer in production. Three John Cottons, uh, John Cottons number one, which I believe is mild, John Cotton's number one and two, medium, and then John Cotton Smyrna, and then also Warhorse and Bengal Slices. I was lucky enough to um, get a sample of all five of these before they uh, you know, went into full-scale production back in early December of last year uh, from a fellow member of the Southern Fried Pipe Club. Very generous, and uh, immediately the first, you know, the one that really stood out to me uh, was Bengal Slices. And... I'm a sucker for crumble cake anyway, so you know plum pudding, Mississippi River. I even consider Penzance, you know, with its flakes that are so easy to to kind of crumble up and break up, to be more of a crumble cake. And that's what you're getting with Bengal slices, thick sliced crumble cake. Um, the texture is just incredible. It's great. Uh, so the taste has a slight top note. You definitely pick out the Latakia. It's got a heavy dose of Latakia. It's not overbearing in my opinion. Uh, some folks who are averse to Latakia may think that it's a Latakia bomb, but in my opinion, it's very smooth and the Latakia does not overwhelm the excellent Orientals, the Virginias in the blend. Uh, they, they both, you know, all of those other tobaccos uh, shine uh, and the Latakia, you know, plays its part well. There's a top note. Um, you smell it more in the tin than you actually taste and smell it while you're smoking the tobacco, which is good news because I'm not a huge fan of uh, anise or anytime I, I kind of detect a, a licorice uh, type top note on a tobacco. That's a turn off for me. Luckily, that doesn't really come through, um, you know, singularly in the smoke. Uh, I, I think it probably helps to kind of sweeten uh, or bring out the Orientals and the Virginias in the blend in a very good way. It is a unique blend. I'm not sure how it compares to, to previous versions of Bengal Slices. Never been able to try them. I wasn't smoking a pipe back in the 70s and 80s. And if I got my hands on an older version, it would be aged, so it would be apples to oranges now anyway. Uh, but I highly recommend Bengal Slices to anyone who enjoys some of those blends that I mentioned earlier. Mississippi River, Plum Pudding, um, and then also, you know, if you've been able to, to smoke Penzance, if you enjoy that, I think you probably enjoy this one as well. The flavor profile is a little bit different. It does have that slight top note, uh, but it's, it's very, very good and I highly recommend it. So until next time, enjoy your pipes. Have a great day.